All right, guys, it's time for another anime review. And uh, this week we have Twilight of the Cockroaches, which my sister recommended that I watch and do a review on. And it was actually a really good movie. First, you had Joe's Apartment, which is the rocking cockroaches in that 1996 movie. You got Twilight of the Cockroaches, which came out in 1987. And there's been a few movies where they try to humanize cockroaches. But the one that I will always remember is Honey, We Shrunk the Kids. Because ever since I watched that movie, I've been terrified of cockroaches. Like, that's the only bug that bothers me. Spiders don't bother me. Snakes don't bother me. Nothing like that. Cockroaches bother me. And I usually won't even kill them because I'm, like, afraid that they're going to make a squishing sound. I can't do it. I just can't deal with cockroaches. I just have to pick them up and take them outside with, like, a paper towel or something. But um, this movie is really well done because it shows a lot of the future camera cutting in here the word i was looking for is symbolism symbolism was the word <laughs> so all right back to regular camera metaphors and things like that to like real life and how society works and it's supposed to be i was reading the thing on the youtube video which i will leave a link to the youtube video and the um amazon because i know it came out on amazon i think that's where my sister watched it i watch it on youtube um, with subtitles and some of the subtitles you're missing it would seem but you can pretty much piece together what's going on not too many subtitles are missing and it's it's really well done so I appreciate the guy that uploaded it I'll leave a link in the description um, but yeah there's a lot of metaphor for like society and how things play out because really the cockroaches in this movie and I'm not going to try to spoil any like major things that happen in it but they're like a lesser species and they think they're coexisting with humans but really they're just <laughs> really the dude's just kind of like ignoring them like he's just letting them exist which to them is coexisting to them that's like the best thing that they've ever seen they're like this is such a great time of peace or whatnot and things change <laughs> and you see how there's like the side that wants to have war and like wants to protect everybody but because they're a lesser species and they're like unequipped for battle well i'm not i'm not gonna spoil it. well spoilers i'm gonna actually spoil this so if you want to watch it without spoilers go ahead i'm just gonna kind of talk about the whole movie but there's like war and like all this stuff and they're fighting each other and the cockroaches are not equipped to fight them which is kind of i think like a reference to like how japan is completely disarmed after world war ii and they don't have like a military force anymore so like say another society for whatever region decided to fight japan um america's supposed to stand up for them but in this film there's no america to take up for the cockroaches so they're just getting slaughtered and um it's a really deep movie like it's got a lot of meanings and things that you can pick up from it if you watch it and it kind of makes you care for them even though i cannot it really tries to demonize the humans in the film by making them like super loud and i understand why they have the effect in where it's super loud because it really makes them seem like the bad guys and super annoying oh my god when they're like eating food and it's just like they have like the volume like amplified like super amplified and it's oh it's toxic because I get why the effects in the movie, but it gets annoying. Like, it's really annoying, and it's supposed to. But I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then the dude, one part, he pulls out like a Sten. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's S-T-N. It's a freaking like automatic rifle where the bag goes into the side of it. And he's shooting these cockroaches, and I'm like, that's a little bit overkill. <laughs> but um, it really shows like the difference in like firepower between the cockroaches and the humans. And even in the description, it says, like, this is supposed to be, like, a film showing how, like, if Japan doesn't take up, like, international policies like it should and, like, slouches on its responsibilities, this is what could happen to them. Um, I don't know if that's completely accurate. I think it's a little bit exaggerated. But the movie's really well done. And the ending's really good. And it really seems like the theme of the movie is survival. But even if you're just trying to survive, which is shown with the older cockroaches, that doesn't guarantee... Well, honestly, I think the older cockroach, when he dies at the end, he's just kind of having his last meal, and he's like, screw it, I don't care anymore. But really, they're the ones that are like, 
the most successful cockroaches in the film after after the peaceful time ends because they're actually just like sneaking around getting their food they're not trying to coexist with man and they're not trying to fight man but they're the ones that actually seem to survive even though well, I'm not, well yeah I'm not going to spoil the very end I'm just spoiling a little elements of it because really I wouldn't have anything to talk about and there's no point in watching it if I'm not going to talk about what happened in the film but I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything like that too much but there's one part where they attack the woman in her apartment and I would have burnt the house down like, I don't care how humanized you made these cockroaches and how likable you made them and human-like and whatnot. If these things like alpha formation attacked me like in a group, I'm burning the whole house down. Y'all enjoy your little battle victory or whatnot. I'm burning the whole thing down. I'm going one step above what she did. I'm burning it all down. Y'all are good luck with that. But, um... And... There are a lot of meanings. I could talk about them a lot. Like, there's one point where the guy, they see him as, like, a savior and whatnot. And there, one part where you know they're screwed, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. When the dartboard part happens, that's when you know stuff's about to go down. Like, <laughs> that's when you know it's about to get crazy. Um, the... But you gotta, like, when you watch it, you kind of have to look for the deep meaning if you really want to enjoy the movie. Or for, like, the kind of film it is for me, I have to enjoy it. I have to watch the deep meaning kind of stuff. Like, when the dude starts, like, actually killing things, it shows, like, a picture of his family, and it shows his, like, motivations for it. And it kind of shows that he's not doing it just to be a dick. He's doing it because outside influences. He's not doing it because he particularly cares, like the dude doesn't care, but he has outside influences why he has to do it, so it kind of like justifies him, but the woman is just completely evil, like they dress her in all black and leather, and they're trying to make her look like she's the bad guy, and like, you, like when they were showing the dude, the super sound effect wasn't happening with him until the end when he gets assimilated by her. Because she was doing all the loud sound effects, but then later on, it's him and her making the loud sound effects. And I'm like, oh my god, stop it. <laughs> Take that effect out, please. But I do get the point of it. It is smart. It's good directing. Um, and it does have like that, my sister was telling me about the Page Master, Story Master, whatever it was. You remember the, it was back in the 90s or the 80s, and it was like these kid books, and this guy goes to a library, and he's getting bullied, and then he becomes part of the story. And it's like, real world with like animation in it and it's really cool i'm actually surprised there's not it must be really hard to do because there's not very many movies with like that kind of art style to it but it's really cool i like it a lot having like real people interact with it i guess they have cgi now so that's what they do with it when they're trying to make like real world animation but this movie i would recommend you watching it if you want like a it's a pretty good story and like if you like movies with like deep meanings and something you had to kind of like pay attention to and piece together like what the director's trying to like convey this is a really good movie it's not like a comedy it's kind of actually sad it's kind of a sad movie but it has like a hopeful meaning to it and it one of the main things is is just showing not to forget history which is always like a big theme in like movies like this is like history is something that if you forget it that's when everything goes downhill it's like bad stuff is about to happen when everybody gets complacent they forget about history and they show that a lot with the old cockroaches when they start talking and telling people about how things really are um but yeah if you like movies like that and you like movies where you have to pay attention and they have like a deeper meaning definitely watch it and like you'll see symbols and symbolism and things that i didn't really see probably there's probably stuff i missed but it was really good. It was. It's about an hour. The one I watched was the director's cut. I'm not sure how long the one on Amazon Prime is. It might be the same. Um, but it's definitely worth a watch. And it's like a piece of like cinema history. If you if you're like a cinephile, and that word always sounds dirty, just because file always sounds bad. But cinephile is like a person that loves movies. I better make sure that's what that is, so I don't have to edit it out. Because that's what I always thought it was. I think it's someone that really loves movies. 
And I used to be like that. I used to just love. Okay, I was right. Thank God. <laughs> you got to be careful when you say anything with file at the end of it because then people are going to be like, oh, what's wrong with this dude? But yeah, I used to love movies a lot too. So this is a movie that appeals to people that love movies. If you watch movies just for like laid back, like comedy or like action or something like that, like instant gratification kind of movies, this isn't it. This is a movie where you have to watch the whole thing, take it in, and you'll really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think about it if you do watch it. But yeah, I, even even with all the humanizing they do in this film, the movie that will always ruin cockroaches for me is Honey, We Shrunk the Kids. Because I, when they're like shrunk down and there's those big cockroaches, oh my god, no. <laughs> Dope. Oh, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. It was good. All right, thanks for watching as always. And also, I want to do a new anime review on Salaryman Kintaro, but I got finished rewatching. I've seen that movie like, or that anime like five times. And I really want to do a review because it's awesome. But uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe.